His piercing gaze says it all. In the twin line of a luminous career that has earned him the sobriquet of Golden Voice of Africa, Ankas Baliman originally represents African lyrics. As he fuses it with acoustic guitar, where he ditches out melodious tunes with local harmonies. The emblematic and enigmatic Stone Cold Gentleman broke the chains of backwardness. And erupts like a volcano into spotlight. After unlocking his fame decades ago, Mega Invasion, Rave of the Moment, and Krona of Culture, you got to know your culture. A song he masterminded. Depleting a continent that has suffered untold poverty. Ankias Valleyman represents speed, vexility, power, pace, and accuracy, as you see in his calculative dancing step. He knows the task he's saddled with. The enormous responsibility of electrifying and thrilling his fans across the globe with dazzling performances. Has been toast of the moment as he is constantly being sported in giant groundbreaking music events. The household name was a breath of fresh air at the Brasserie Star Music Show where he sets the podium ablaze. Oh, he is the first artist from the Northwest Soil to fill the Alliance Francaise Hall to the brim as the 1000 capacity hall was loaded with all max of humans. We will keep on helping Ankes Bauman. He enjoys the professional torch of a man, a monstrous reggae kingpin, who discovers South African born reggae icon Lucky Dube with a blessed memory. And I also wish Ankyos all the best. I thank you all to be here tonight. His short stay around the corridors of reggae, music in South Africa, gave him the right professional experience. With a voice that wears the African ring, he has successfully, peacefully, skillfully, and harmoniously captain the reggae flight. His popularity rate saw immensely after the release of his first album. Ankyas, you are marvelous. Thank you very much. I'm going to see what is certain is certain is imperial majesty. Thank you very much. His music is packaged, powered with lots of sensitivities to give you that awesome freshness. His blockbuster left the music kitchen 2000 and sold over 60,000 copies in eight months in the country where people thought reggae was consumed only by touts or drug peddlers. The exceedingly handsome and ever smiling Ankyas Valleyman spies on the likes of reggae pastor like Buck Mali. Peter Mackison Torch, just to name a few of them. This is ours, made in Africa, truly and proudly African, as it gorgeously decks out in his traditional African costume, advertising the image of the true African boy. 
Ankas Valiman featured prominently at the International Reggae Festival Cape Town, South Africa, sharing the stadium with Jamaican-born King Shango, the Azania band. All this packaged to add color to African idea of reggae. Ankas believed reggae was born in Africa. Rise up, Africa, rise up. Yet was smuggled out of the African soil via slave trade and say it is time to hijack it back in its original and undiluted form. Ankias is mentored and managed by reggae lord Richard Siluma, otherwise known as Shaggy Sangila. Same man will pierce Lucky Dube into limelight. He reveals his encounter with Ankias Valiman. <laughs> Ankias Valiman melodized his sweet tailored messages into music for the consumption of queens, kings, and all asundry. I just went straight to the office, and then when I arrived in the office, Ankias Valiman was sitting there, and he actually done it before to several artists. I want you to work with Ankias Valiman. So I want to say to you, um, my father, my brother, my everything. Thank you very much. He is the new awakening of African roots reggae. Ankias Valley Man is man of the moment, is toast of African reggae. Ankias Valley Man brings the continent's dream positively through sweet pieces of reggae acts with an almost baritone voice that reminds me of legend Bob Marley. More on this reggae wizard who is marketed by Shell Publishing South Africa and CJ Production Cameroon or Google and visit Facebook and Kias Valley Man.